After sharing Flutter MX, my project on uh, Hacker News, uh, I was asked to see a video of the workflow. So let's uh, jump right into that. Uh, start by opening IntelliJ, the tool I happen to use. Oh, it's already open. Great. And uh, next up, I start a simulator. This is a standard Apple simulator. Great. That's over there. And then I start, I'm in the directory, I should have pointed out, I am in the uh, Flutter MX directory. And I'm going to start a watch build on the project itself. The project is set up to run uh, various demos and examples uh, out of the box. So uh, it's the core library, but it's also a demo. And uh, that'll take uh, a couple minutes. Let's go look at uh, Hello World, the code for Hello World is, is here. It's enhanced it a little bit to include a photograph of the author of the phrase Hello World, or at least the popularizer, Brian Kernigan, in the C programming language, one of the best technical books ever written. Uh, and this is what Hello World looks like. We classic scaffold, uh, material app, scaffold, centering, column, text, hero, all standard uh, Flutter constructs. They're just looking a little bit uh, different in their closure dart and uh, the matrix macrology as well makes uh, changes changes here. Yeah, I can I can uh, make a small change. Well, the the app isn't open yet, but when it comes up, I'll uh, we'll have this phrase. We'll be able to tweak it and and see a new phrase here. I believe here we go. So we've got. Oh, I'm sorry. I left this running as the old example. Let's. Uh, or at least that's the, the last example we got. So let's look at, oh, here's a good example of iterative development. I switched uh, to a different uh, namespace. And there, at long last, is Mr. Ritchie, uh, Mr. Kernigan. And let's just change the, uh, the phrase. Let's add an exclamation mark, which is a lot of uh, Hello World copiers do. But that is not actually part of the uh, original in uh, the C programming language. And we can see, there it is, Hello World. Let me move the window over a little bit so we can see it happening live. Uh, move window, move. All right. Uh, and we'll get rid of those exclamation marks. And we'll see that they go a, uh, fairly quickly. And again, so basically anything else you do. I mean, if I just uh, lose, the, lose the image and rerun it, bam, away we go. No image. So... Let's bring back Mr. Kern again. Now, uh, uh, Rich, <laughs> it's, it's one, of, one of the uh, uh, other main questions was, hey, what about the REPL? And I just wanted to share quickly that uh, we have a poor man's REPL running over here. Uh, it runs, you know, I can change this any way I want. And if I'm just exploring the closure dart code, I can actually uh, comment out uh, the GUI application itself, or I could leave it, and I'll get I'll get to see it, it running right away. Again, just gotta make I'm usually run a much larger monitor as you can imagine, and uh, away you go. So this is this is our poor man's REPL here, and uh, in terms of actually real world REPL, uh, I mean living with this capability, uh, you know, developing. Uh, Flutter MX took about three months, and it was uh, pretty painful because I don't know Dart, and I didn't know Flutter. And uh, and still, it was just not a problem working in this uh, semi-iterative fashion, this semi-repo semi fashion. I use print statements everywhere. The print statements pop up over here. Oh, let's, let's take a quick look at that. Uh, they also pop up in a debugger. If you just want to know how the some of the resources available as a uh, Closure Dart developer, there is also this which uh, I used early on. I don't use anymore, but they offer uh, the Flutter debugger, Flutter dev tools. And, uh, you know, I can see, uh, I don't know why it's being so helpful there. Okay, so you can see all sorts of good stuff over here. Down here we have a console. Uh, again, uh, I used this early on, but I haven't, I haven't used that lately. So... Uh, Moving right along, let's uh, take a look at a different example, one of the more complex examples, so we can see uh, one interesting fact about uh, Closure Dart. Uh, and here we have it already popped up. I saved it, so it's already been rebuilt and reloaded onto the uh, onto the sim. 
we now have the classic fab example, which I think is one of the prime examples in the Flutter uh, portfolio. And uh, so that's great. Uh, and what I want to show you about that is that this one, this one killed me, I think, for, I think, I think for a day. Uh, and that was because I didn't have a cast. This, by the way, is a closure cast, a little hat sign followed by a type is how we cast. And if I save now, uh, we're going to have some unhappiness over here in the console. Oh, I got to scroll down. So it's, it's, it's complaining about things, the target type of blah, blah, blah. And I was looking, I, it really took me a while to figure this one out. Um, <clears throat> and I guess uh, maybe by going back and forth, comparing it with the original fab code and the closure dart, fab example which is i stole all their code to do to do this i looked at that i said well you know they they've got a cast in here it does sound like a type issue and uh sure enough all i had to do was uh put in a cast uh and uh all of a sudden it was happy and what was going on was that basically the the, the type there's a lot of type inferencing, so this isn't really necessary all that much. And I was getting away with not knowing anything about types. And uh, in this case, though, because I've gone out and I've pulled in the, the actual progress animation with my own code, the type inferencing got lost, so I had to stick this back in there. So there is a little bit of a Dart awareness required of the, the Closure developer. Okay, so let's look at another example. Uh, and again, uh, oops, I got to go back and tell my main driver that that's the example I want to run. And we can do some live coding because I played with this before and we do have a bug that I have to find later. So what I'm doing here in, in this guy is, uh, you know, the name RxJS is just a play on the RxJS library. We're using, a, someone asked about uh, how I would use streams with matrix and uh, I won't bore you with the details. I don't want to get into matrix, but here you can see it's uh, using a standard stream controller uh, from uh, from Dart and Dart libraries, and uh, it's taking each word as I step through a counter which points to different words in William Butler Yeats's Second Coming, sticks them on the stream, and uh, somewhere down here I'm listening to that same stream this is the, the, the this is the widget down below that's listening to that stream and uh, the words come piling through so uh, that's great uh, now here's here's what happened I this code here I tried to do something where what I would do is well it's great seeing one word at a time but let's see the whole text accumulated and again, I'm not going to bother you with the matrix, but this is doing its best to uh, take each word coming into the recipient and pull it into a, a, a cache structure so it can actually have all of them at, at once and display it joined by a string. So I said, okay, this, this should be pretty straightforward. That's the type of thing I've done before. And I got a really nasty uh, error here, but it's uh, got a nice little message saying, hey, compute cycle detected. And I'm looking at what is going on here. And I, this is like the one place in Matrix where I get, I get issues. And it's like, oh, I'm reading the children. I'm reading the children. I'm reading the ch Oh, okay. So what, what's happened is, I won't bore you with the details, but it's getting into a cycle, trying to find, navigate around the Matrix to go find things. So over here, this widget, which is not the message recipient, is asking another widget, you know, what is, it? show me each word as you get it. And that's, that's where I'm getting this cycle. The thing that puzzled me was like, well, look at this. I mean, <laughs> the, the counter, which is showing the count as it goes, is doing the exact same thing. So I, I'm doing a sanity check here. I said, well, you know what? And again, just to show you how easy it is to iterate, I'm going to, and this is what I do as a programmer. I said, well, let's try something dead simple. Let's pretend we have our uh, accumulated cache of the text of, of the poem and let's just do that and let's see if this gets gets rid of the error and uh, I gotta scroll down because I've lost oh okay good. oh let's see what's over here aha so in the sim we've already successfully displayed one two so it is it is related to this so I now I happen to know the code pretty well that does searching that goes around and asks different 
widgets for the information they have. And I, I just had this suspicion because this one was working. I said, why is that one working and the, the one right before it isn't? I said, you know what, let me, let me just come down here and uh, right after here, uh, let me just drop this in here. Put it, I'll put it after and we can get rid of the one two because we, well you know what let's run it now just to make sure it still works you never know still works and it works below so that was nice i was just able to take this whole widget and just move it around it doesn't care so now let's uh let's see if let's see if we get better behavior down here let's see okay aha it seems to have worked okay so nothing's happened yet let's, let's step through the Okay, good. Turning, turning in the widening jar. Fantastic. Hmm. Now, gee, I don't like that none. So let's uh, let's try another bug here. Let's clean up. Let's not show the word none. And I'm gonna um, I'll make another bug while I'm at it. And I say when not equal. None message. Okay, now we use the message, otherwise it's no. And let's see what happens. Ah, okay, good. And we try it, and ah, it's still there. And that's because the astute observer will have noted I got the case wrong. So now I can save it again and take another look and bam. Ah, okay, good. So uh, that's it. This is, this is what it's like working with uh, closure dart and uh, hot restarts and, uh, and matrix. And uh, we'll do more about matrix later, but uh, in terms of the workflow, this is what I do all day long. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll, be putting this on YouTube. Questions and comments are welcome. I'll add some notes in the first comment on the YouTube posting, and hopefully that'll uh, uh, get the ball rolling on uh, the understanding of uh, Flutter MX and Closure Dart. Thank you. Bye bye.